Hello and welcome to another video about doing clever things with Access. This time we're going to look at a way of emailing a report direct from within Access. I've already set up a report based on my little table of students and the report is called the Report on Basic Scores. It's pretty straightforward, it just gives a name, uh, a couple of results and an email address if we've got one. Um, if I look at that in design view there we are. I've just put some fields on there. I've got rid of some of the labels. The way to do that, by the way, is to, let's suppose we want to put the tier on there as well. Uh, you can just highlight the label and remove it. Uh, that tier, you may remember, turned up in one form. We can change it from a list box to a combo box uh, and it'll look a bit different. If I now look at that, it's still a box. Perhaps that's not quite what I want. I could go back into design view and turn it into a text box which might look better uh, on a report. So I change to text box and just preview the report again. It's still got a box around it but that's something we could tidy up later as is the general formatting of the report. It doesn't have a heading, it doesn't have page numbering, all those things are worth doing. But now I want to see if I can get a form to do some work for me. So I'm going to go back to uh, Table of Students and create a form in Form Design. And Actually this form uh, could be really really simple. It might have a label on it that says something like Form to Send Report of Basic Scores by Email. So that's a label. Uh, that text label, does, or is it a text box? Uh, it's a text box, but it doesn't need any um, label for itself, and it's going to have a button on it. Uh, one big button. Now, the button is going to be using a report operation, which is to mail the report. I could open it, preview it, print it, send it to a file, but I want to send something by email. Uh, there is only one report, so we're going to select the only one, Report on Basic Scores. I'm happy with the picture, which is a little email icon. Um, so I'm going to just give this button a name instead of Command Button 2 or Command 2. Command Send Report Basic Scores by email. So the name of the button tells me what it does. Uh, I want that to be a really big button, so I'm going to enlarge it a bit. Now let's see what happens when we save that. I need to give it a name. I've already got some forms. This is a form send basic report by email. So everything's got sensible and meaningful names. Having done that, I can now look at it. Oh, I've messed that up because I made it a text box instead of a label uh, because I was going too quickly. I'd need to go back and sort that out. But let's see what happens when I click the button. It says, what sort of out output format do I want? I'll go for PDF format and say OK. And very rapidly up comes the interface for Microsoft uh, Outlook. Exactly what happens will depend a little bit on how you've got your machine set up. But I can send that to myself. Um, uh, oh, I'm sending it to a private email address. I'll send it to my school email address, mrlowns at shiplake.org.uk, and send it. And with a little bit of luck, if I bring in my email interface, we'll be able to see in a second... Whoops, that's the wrong thing. Uh, we'll be able to see if that has actually arrived. So many things open on my desktop, and I'm not quite sure what on earth I'm doing. Um, I need to check on that. There's a little helpful sound which you may have been able to hear. And if I bring in my email account, there's my email, which says report on basic scores. And if I open the attachment and shrink it down a little bit so it'll fit into our video window, there's the email attachment which contains in PDF format the report that we wanted. So that's done some quite useful things uh, and sent it to me in a way that I can then deal with it.
however I want. Uh, as I say, I made a few mistakes along the way. I'd have to go back and sort them out. As ever, with developing software, test everything as you go along, fix the mistakes as you go along, and retest. I will leave you to think about how you do that. Hope you find that useful. That's the end of this video.